So, yeah, Rise of the Beast was pretty good, huh? It's got me on sort of a Beast Wars kick now, and gives me a chance to talk about probably my favorite Transformers purchase from last year, the vintage reissue of Optimus Primal. This is just sort of something I came across because I had no idea what these reissues were even happening, but when I saw this at the Wall of Mart, I still waited for a sale. I mean, come on, 50 bucks was a lot to spend on Transformers, especially an old toy. Oh, how the times have changed. I've wanted this toy for a very long time, ever since I saw it in the Transformers Ultimate Guy as a kid. And yeah, this figure is the best. There's a simple charm to how much plastic this thing has, and probably is a lot more worth it in it than products today at a similar price. This toy was the first of its kind, and surprisingly, it doesn't show that. The design and vintageness holds up very well, and has the Earthspark Alita effect of feeling like a toy toy. This is when gimmicks were king, and is kind of inseparable from the toy's overall enjoyment. Arguably, the first gimmick was articulation. It is very well known that G1 toys were kind of bricks, for the most part. And it wasn't until G2 that more poseable figures started to appear. And Beast Wars was the king of the jungle when it came out, and was very ahead of its time. Of course there are some modern joints that are missing here, but you get all of the essentials, and that's really all you need. The arms kind of work against you at times due to the gimmick in Gorilla Mode, but other than that, he's really impressive. Next is the mutant head gimmick. Take a shot every time I say gimmick in this video. Don't, actually. Flipping his head around reveals this creepy and gruesome mask, and putting down his prime ears creates tusks for that head, and looks badass, and not very Optimus Primal at all. Most Year One Beast Wars toys had this alternate head shtick, and Primal's is probably one of the best ones. Next gimmick is his weaponry, and woof, he comes with a lot of it. First, we have his iconic double swords, and I had no idea until now, but they are shaped this way to store in his back. Who knew? Holding both of them in one hand is just cool looking, man. Look at it. Second is the skull mace, and hell yeah, why do his accessories keep getting better? It's on the string thing to be flailed around like a complete maniac, and it was interesting to have a whole character decades later based on his head. Paleo Trex. Well, I mean, I guess that makes this kind of morbid now. And this can store in his forearm when not in use. Speaking of the forearms, in his left one hides a double missile launcher that can fire well two missiles. And this feature is completely unnecessary, but I love it. And finally, we have his shoulder guns that pop out with such velocity. These really act as the cherry on top of the lethal cake. And yeah, it's just perfect. Putting all the action gimmicks together really is a sight to behold. It's hard to put in the words how much I love this. And before we get into the transformation, let's praise the detail for a second. Unlike most Season 1 characters, a lot of the details that showed up on the toy were there on the show model, and he's very well proportioned. So it really does feel like I'm playing with the character on screen. Look at this angry monkey! All of that mass in robot mode condenses into a lovely gorilla mode and is very Kenner. The face looks both goofy and menacing at the same time, which I just find hilarious. The fur texturing is also very nice, and yes, he does have a butt. You're welcome. And his main gimmick in this mode is the chest pounding gimmick, which I can't really get to work on mine. It just sort of makes it look like he's trying to swim or something. The cans can deploy in this mode, but it just sort of makes him look like a basset hound. So there's that. I have always seen this guy on sale since release, and I highly recommend getting this figure. Like, you need one. Now. I think that Beast Wars Optimus Primal is a must of any Transformers collection. Not only for its history, but it is so much fun. Really, if you want to, you can really just focus on the Beast Wars reissue line, and I'd say that you'd be a very happy customer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Optimus Primal or Rise of the Beasts in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Does Big Bot want banana? That is a horrible stereotype, Dragonaut. I am a robot. I do not eat bananas. Well, then what am I gonna do with this? <laughs>